So if the y out of the coefficients of the function here is positive, the u curve upward. If it is negative, the u curve will be downward. Okay? This is for the shape of the u curve. Now, let's talk about the vertex. If the u curve is upward, so the vertex here will be the minimum point. But for the a curve downward, the vertex here will be maximum point. So, if the curve is upward, the vertex will be the minimum point. And the range, since now the vertex is the minimum point, so the range will be all the points that is greater than the minimum point. So, y will be greater than or equal to 0. But for the second case, if the y have a negative coefficients, the u curve it will be downward, the vertex it will be the maximum point, and the range now, since the vertex it will be the maximum point. Remember the boy that I told you about. If he project or if he throw the ball like u shape downward, when the ball reach the highest point, the maximum point, all the things will be under the ball. So all the points will be under zero, like that. When the ball is throwing upward, when it's right to reach the highest point, the maximum point, all the things will be the grass, the boy, the water, everything will be downward. So that's mean all the values is less than zero. Under the ball, it's mean less than zero. Is it clear now? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Okay, now, do you have any question before going to the second uh, thing? No, no, teacher, thank you. thank you. Okay. Now, uh, sometimes the coefficients of the x terms in a quadratic function affects the width of the parabola as well as the direction in which it opens. So we said before, like if you have a y equal 2x squared or y equal negative 2x squared, the sign here it tell me about the direction to where the curve is open. If it is positive, it will be upward. And if it is negative, it will be downward. This is for the sign of the coefficients. Now, now we will talk about the magnitude of the coefficient. If the magnitude of the coefficients is greater number, if it doesn't have the same graph, if the magnitude is, yeah, I mean, if the y is equal x squared and y equal 4x squared, okay, for them here, both of them are positive. So both of them will open upward. But they are, they have the same shape. Are they have exactly the same U curve? Are they have? Yes. No. Uh, no. No. Because no. the coefficients. The coefficients here is one. Here the coefficients is four. That's mean the second one is greater four times than the first one. That's mean the shape, the U shape of the, of the second one is wider than the first one. The first one, it's like this. But since if it is like here, like it's multiplied by four, 
if it will be greater, it's open their hands wider than by four. So from the function, I can, or the coefficients of the x terms tell me about the width of the parabola and the direction of it. How can I know? Shall I graph to know this? No. What should we have? Or how can should we, should we know? They told me that if the absolute value if of m is less than the absolute value of n, that means the graph of, I mean like, of y equal mx squared is wider than the graph of y equal nx squared. What does it mean? Okay. If you have y equal 3x squared, y equal negative 4x squared, and y equal 1 over 6x squared. What I have to do? The first thing to know which is the widest one and which is the uh, wait, shall we remember? the narrowest one, the narrowest one, which is the narrow and which is the wider one. The first step, look at the coefficients of each number. 3, negative 4, and 1 over 6. This is the first step. Then, put the absolute value for each one. What is the absolute value for 3? It's a 3. The absolute value for negative 4? Four? 4. 4. And for, for 1 over 6? 4. 1 over 6. 1 over 6. Uh, then, yes. then, after that, which is the greatest number? 3 or 4 or 1 over 6? 4. 4. 4. Four. Since 4 is the greatest number, so it will be the widest one. And which is the smallest? 3 or 1 over 6? 1 over 6. 1 over 6. So 1, one over, six over 6 will be the narrowest narrow, double R, narrowest one. Okay. And this one will be the in the middle. So what does it mean now? That's mean. This is the Number one, if you are um, like, if I ask you to order them from the narrowest to the widest, you tell me this is the first one, this is the second one, and this is the widest one. So the sign and the magnitude to, uh, tell me two things. The sign tell me to where the function go, if it is upward or downward, and the number, it tell me if it is narrowest or widest. Let's see it now on the graph. Mr. Chair, if it will be so, yani, yani it will be, if it is yani, wide, the, the widest, so its graph will be down. Down and open their hand in widest way. I will tell you here. Look here now. Look at this one here. Here we have now, use the graphs below. What is the order from widest to narrowest of the graphs of the quadratic functions? Negative 4x squared, 4th x squared, and x squared. Look at the first one. It was negative 4. Negative, that means it's open. It's open in your hands downward. Positive for the second one, upward. For the last one, upward. This is the first thing. Then after that. Four. Look at the numbers now without the sign. Four. One over four and one. Which is the greatest number? Four or one or one over four? Four. 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 Yeah. And which is the... Uh, 
No, wait, yes, I told you. Okay, okay. So this is the four. And one over four and the one. Now, uh, the number that is, a I'm sorry, here, I tell you the opposite. Where is this? Can I undo? Means you said the smallest number will be the yeah. widest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you they are the the opposite. Okay, look here. I will repeat from the beginning. Now look at I look at the numbers. Here we have four, one over four, and one. Which is a greater? I took the absolute value of each one. Here we have four. The absolute value of negative four is four. One over four and one. Now the greatest coefficients, which is number four, will be the narrowest. And the small one, the number, and I mean that the, lum the lowest number, which is one over four, will be the widest. Look at the graph here. For the number four, which is the greater number, it has the narrowest shape. Look at the shape here, how it's narrow. It's very narrow, but, but when it is one over four, when it is very small, look how, how it's open their hands. And this is for one, it will be between them. So on the three graphs, one over x squared is will be the widest one. So the number with the less, with the less coefficient, How will be the widest. And the number with the greatest, with the max, or with any greatest number will be the narrowest. So the order from the widest to the narrowest will be fourth x squared, x squared, and negative four x squared. This is the question, how it comes. I told you to, to order them from the widest to the narrowest. Don't forget, the widest, like mean, the small number. The narrowest, that's mean the greater number, which is four. And like the opposite, widest to narrowest, like from greater to like from big to small, the meaning of it, like from big to small. If you arrange the function, you have to start from the small to the big. So the widest number, that's the number has the small coefficients. And the narrowest one, that's the number that has a greater coefficient. Now let's have another example here. What is the order from the widest to the narrowest of the graph of the function? Negative x squared, the first function, f of x is negative x squared. The second function, f of x is a 3x squared. And the third function, f of x is negative third x squared. This is the first step, I wrote the function. The second step, take the coefficients now. Negative one, three, and negative one over three. Oh. Now I told you take the absolute value of the number. What's the absolute value of negative one? One. One. Of a three. 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 And three. negative one over three. One, one over three. three. Now, Third. After that, I want now to order from the widest to the where? To the narrowest. The widest, what does it mean? The number that has the, the has greatest place. Small. <laughs> Oh, the, the, the minimum, the small coefficients. Which is the small coefficient? Third. Third. Three. So this Three. is now 
the first function, negative third squared. Then what is the narrowest one? Which is, look at the coefficients. So the third is the widest. Which is the narrowest one? The three, bravo. The three. And three. What the, the negative x squared will be between them. So the yes. widest, that's mean, it's like the opposite meaning. You mean all of us mean wide, and it's mean greater. So choose the opposite. What is the opposite? That's mean the small number. Small number. And for the narrowest, which is a small, it has a small area, choose the greatest number. Is it clear now? Yes, teacher. Yes, miss. Okay. Yes, teacher. Now, the y-axis is the axis of symmetry of the graphs for the function of the form y equal a x squared plus c. Now, before that, I told you before that if you have a y equal a, a is a number, is a coefficient, x squared, since I start with y, our, our y is something times x squared, that's mean the axis, the axis of symmetry is the y-axis. So, if you see this function, if you start with y, that means this is the axis of symmetry. If, and we also talk about a. If a has a positive sign, that means it's open upward. If it has a negative sign, that means it opens downward. And if it has a greater number, it will be the narrowest one. If it has a smallest number, it will be the widest one. Now, I will add C. What is C? They told me x squared plus C. What is C? C is the value of x translate the graph up or down. Like, this is the parent function. I draw it here. Translate the function, what does it mean? Like, give me one minute, please, here. Let's erase that. Like, this is the x, y axis. Okay. Let's have now, this is a function. It's not so accurate. It must be like this. Okay. This is now the U shape. Now, if this is for Y equal, so this is now for Y equal uh, 3X to the power 2, okay? This means 3x squared. So, this one, the red one here, is for 3x squared. If I told you now 3x squared, okay, but not all, yani I, I mean like this, if it is 3x squared, but now plus 5. What does it mean? 3x squared plus 5. That's mean for the previous one, it was 3x squared only. y is equal to 3x squared. That's mean it starts from 0. If you have 3x squared plus 5, that's mean you have to shift up the shape 
five units. So if you have the function 3x squared only, you draw you graph it with the vertex zero. If you shift it, up, I told you 3x squared plus 5, this plus mean you have to shift it up five units. But if I told you now 3x, now let's make it down. And if I told you now, like 3, sorry, 3x squared now, but minus 5. What does it mean? This minus sign, that means you have to go with this shape 5 units down. So, 3x squared only, that means I am on the 0, 0. 3x squared plus 5, that means you have to put, this is a 3x squared. 3x squared plus 5, you have to shift it up 5 units. 3x squared minus 5, that means you have to shift it up, uh, shift it down 5 units. So, plus 5, that means up 5 units. Minus 5, that means down 5 units. So, if I'm talking about y-axis, you, you only shift the shape upward or downward. If, there are, if the axis of symmetry is x-axis, you shift it right or left. But this is will not with you in this chapter. In this chapter only, you have an y-axis, the, uh, the line of symmetry or the axis of symmetry is only the y-axis and the shape will be shifted up or down. Let's have now an example. Graphing now ax squared plus c. By now we learned how can we do we graph ax squared only. Now here we will learn how can we graph ax squared plus c. What we have to do? The first step you have to graph the parent function. What is the parent function? The parent function is sorry. Where is the parent function? The parent function is the function that I'm starting with it. 2x squared. Or oh, sometimes they give me. That is, it is 2x squared. Now, so we have to graph it. What we have to do? We have to do as we, as we did before. Make a table. x, y. Choose any point you want, like 0, 1, 2, as an example now. Then after that, let's evaluate. With y equal 2x squared. Yeah, let's do it. 2 times 0 squared is? 0. 0. Then 2 times 1 squared is? 2. 2. Then 2 times 2 squared is? 4 times 2? 8. 8. So now these are the points for y equal 2x squared. 0, 0. 1, 2, and 2, 8. What happened here? Zero, zero, one. 
2 and 2, 8, it must be upward here. So this is now the function. Then let's now make a reflection. Don't forget with the, sum, with the same points. Look here, negative 1, and I make it wrongly reflection because I told you when you make a reflection like 1, 2, negative 1, 2. So it has to be like this. This is now for a. So this is will be now the U shape or exactly it will be like this. This is for our U shape. Then how the graph of 2x squared but now plus 3. This is for 2x squared. Now let's make it for the same numbers now. Teacher, is it a bit consistent? Three and it's up. Yeah, but let's show here how. Plus a three. Yeah, now plus a three. What does it mean? Two times zero squared plus a three is what? A three. Let, that's me. Let's take the numbers. Zero, add a three. Two, add a three is what? Five, eight. If you add the three, it will be eleven. Eleven. This is a way. Or another way, you can say like this. Why? Two of one squared plus the three. One squared times two is two plus the three. Five. Of two squared, two times two squared plus the three. Two squared is four times two, eight plus the three, eleven. That's what I put the number, the, the number that I put them here. Then after that, let's now plot them here. Zero, three. Zero, 3 is my the first point. Then 1, 5. It, could, it must be here. And 2, 11. It will be here. So that's mean a graph will be like this. That's mean I shift the shape three units upward. Is it right? Yes. I shift it. Look here, I'm I'm zero zero. Then I shift the green shape, the green uh, shape, three points upward, which is a. So if I say two x squared plus three, since I said plus, that's I shifted it three units. Right or left, I told you, since I'm on x axis, um, uh, I am on the y axis, line, the axis of symmetry is the y axis, so it cannot be shifted right or left, only upward or downward. Uh, by the way, they told me here the shift, it must be up or down. So if it is plus a three, that's mean it's shifted up. If it is minus a three, that's mean it's shifted down. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Means the left and the right will not yes, take teacher. it now. Yeah. Okay. Let's have now another okay. example. Teacher? Yes. L like x squared or ax squared. I mean, this is what's called y axis or how? And is there is a name for it? For what? Is there is an is there a name for a x squared or x parent, squared? Parent function. This is the parent function. Okay. Look here. Graph. Look at the function here. It says y equal x squared minus three. From this one, we can know that x squared is my parent function. 
is the function that I have to start with it. And minus three is the number of shift that I have to gonna be upward or downward. So let's graph now y equal x squared. Let's make a table. Y, X, I say, oh, okay, you start here, zero, one, and two. Look at points like this. Yeah, for X, zero. Y, it will be zero, zero squared. For X, one, Y, it will be a one. One also. One. It's one squared. For x is two. So that's four. two squared, which is four. Thank you. Four. So this is four now, the parent function. Zero, zero. One, one. And um, two, four. Yeah, let's just here. So we say that this is y, this is y, 0, 1, and 2, 0, 1, and 4, at x squared. So here we have 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 4. This is for the parent function. Now, let's connect between the points and make a reflection. So this is now will be for the y equal x squared. This is for y equal x squared. Now, y equal x squared, but minus the three. What does it mean? I'll shift it down three units. Yes, it's me. It shifted down three units. Let's see it now how it will be on the table. Like x and y. Y is x squared minus 3. 0 squared minus 3 is negative 3. 1 squared minus 3, 1 minus 3 is negative 2. 2 squared minus 3, 4 minus 3 is 1. Then 0 Negative 3, it have to be here. Then, 1, negative 2. Then, 2, 1. Let's now connect between the points like this. You will see now, as Nada said, that the shape will be Shift it down three units, as you see. It's the green is the parent, the, uh, the red, sorry, is the parent, and the green is the graph that is shifted. Since I said negative three, that means it's shifted three units down. Is it clear now? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Yes, ma'am. Yes? The 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 linear the linear. Why I didn't I don't make reflection for the linear? How? And yes. you if you want to draw to graph. Yes. How? And I want to graph okay. to be linear line. Your card. Why I don't? Wait, wait, let's try. Let's make it clear here. But before asking, answering Farah, do you have any question related to uh, F shifting, graphing, everything? Do you have any no. question here? No. No. Everything is clear. Okay. Now imagine that you have a function y equal 3x only. Okay. This is a 3x. What does it mean? That means at point 0, I'm on 0. At point 1, I am on three. 
time one times three. I am if I am in point uh, five, I am in one point five. Uh, I'm uh, in point five. I am not central. Point five times three is what? Uh, 